And now joining us via Skype is the ambassador in Kenya. Thank you, ambassador, for joining us on News on the Hour. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. All right, please, you want to bring us up to speed and let us know what the current situation is like in regards to COVID-19 in Kenya. Um, in terms of COVID-19 in Kenya, well, first and foremost, we're on a mini lockdown. Um, a few counties, starting from Nairobi, the capital city, and then three other um, uh, counties where we had contact persons. Uh, other than that, it's um, all systems go. Our, our government is doing quite well. The Ministry of Health has been extremely efficient. Uh, testing is ongoing. We've moved from um, two, three hundred to now seven hundred to one thousand a day across the country. And we are looking at areas that are, uh, well, we're going to go and, and focus on now specific and particular areas, um, slum areas, for example, uh, where they have there's loss of population and very little social distancing. Now, I'd like to know, what's been the disposition of the Kenyan people since this outbreak? How are they coping with it? And what is the level of compliance, if I may ask? <laughs> well, it's not easy to stay home. It's not easy um, to stop working. It's not easy to move, to stop moving and be with your family and be with your friends. Uh, but I think there's no option at the moment. And so the question really is not, are Kenyans happy with systems that are being put in place? Or are they confident that they will work? And I think what is most important um, right now is that it has to work. Social distancing, staying at home. Uh, working from home, only essential uh, visits, travel movement is required. Markets are opened when and as needed. Um, I think that's that's what works, right? Okay. Now, if I may ask, talking about the government and its its measures being put in place to to cope and forestall the the spread of this virus, how would you rate the government's efforts so far in the fight against COVID nineteen in Kenya? I may be biased, but um, I think that the Kenya government has done well. Why, why would you, why would you be biased? Is, is, there, is there anything informing you're being biased? Of course, because okay. I, I do work for the Kenya the government. government. Okay. Uh, that notwithstanding, <laughs> believe me, I would say if I thought those were a problem. Now, the issue is this. We have to work with the people and get their support and buy in for everything that is being done. And I think that so far, the government has done well. We have our daily briefings. Um, we're having our testing being done. The security has tried. There have been cases here and there where they've been a bit extreme, uh, but the president has come out very clearly um, to discuss that and ensure or tell them and remind them that they're working for the people, with the people, and they're part of the citizenry. And, and therefore, it's, this is not tough <laughs> love per se. Uh, they need to be kind. And those that have not been able to um, observe curfew, have been put into isolation and mandatory quarantine, which I think works. Because we must respect the rules, we must respect the law. And it's good to know that uh, we have civil society and private sector that are coming out to help, to work, and to contribute to government efforts um, in the fight against uh, COVID-19. Now, we do have challenges, by the way. We have our people that are in China. We have our people that in, are in different countries, and we want them back. 
Oh, interesting, Ambassador. And you just, you just, the, Ambassador, you just made mention of civil society groups who are also in support of the government in the fight against COVID-19 in Kenya. And I know you're also one of such people. Now, what efforts would you say so much you guys have provided as, as collaboration and support for the government to, to forestall the spread of coronavirus in, among the Kenyan people? Well, so far, training. Training for our medical personnel. Training for our security personnel. Training for home workers. People that have access to people every single day. And, and, and that is a huge focus. Also, the provision of uh, PPEs. So we're talking about masks, we're talking about gloves, we're talking about sanitizers. And most important, for those that are in need, we're talking about food. And there are many people that have come out and been able to help uh, support provision of hampers uh, for people, especially those living in slums. So that has been key. And now we are looking at moving out from the major cities and moving into the villages. Ambassador also, Yvonne Kamati, I want to say thank you for joining us on News Another Hour and for your contribution. Thank you very much. And it's uh, always a pleasure. But I want to say this. Let's go ahead. Yeah. I am both Kenyan and Nigerian, uh, from Kwara, actually. OK. Oh, that's good to know. Please stay safe out there. Absolutely. And, and you too. So love to all my people in Nigeria. Thank you, Ambassador. And my family that's there. Thank you very much. Thank you too.